Welcome back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked on your feel good kickstart to a brand new day. Now, given the plights on our energy grid at the moment, we are reminded daily and the effects of global climate change. The fight for more renewable energies is still going and hopefully building momentum at the moment. So, our favorite grant is here to talk a little bit more about some renewable energies that you may not have heard about as yet. This is the new frontier, and it's great. We want to be talking about new renewable sources of energy. Renewable energy is one of those conversations that we need to continually have and there's a lot of things that distract us from it but the thing is that we need to start working at how we generate electricity especially for just across the globe for climate change for look at what's happening with our grid right now at the moment in a more sustainable eco-friendly inexpensive way um, and there's a couple of obviously we've heard tons of different solutions like over the past couple of years even at school everyone's learning about new things but there's new technology that's being innovated quite regularly uh, and we need that kind of innovation now more than ever and technology is lighting the way and it feels like we are building momentum now more than ever before because we've got so many bright minds focused on this excuse the pun so let's start with <laughs> marine solar what yeah so marine about? solar is a very interesting technology there's a lot of space uh, out to sea uh, we do have a lot of big solar arrays that exist on freshwater um, and obviously that's a little bit more uh, it's easier to manage because freshwater can stay a lot stiller than open <laughs> open water um, um, Don't you uh, mind the tsunami that we were reporting on early this morning? Yeah, yeah so they, there are like a lot of practical potential uh, pitfalls when it comes to marine solar panels, but we're starting to overcome that technology and a lot, not a lot of people really know about that. So more surface area with, with solar technology, the better, the bigger the spaces that we can create to put that solar energy where we don't necessarily have to sit and exist um, means that we could probably generate more electricity. Obviously, there are other uh, problems, technical problems that we have to overcome. But every time someone goes, oh, that's never going to work because this is a, you know, there's that problem. Don't we worry. Rise to that challenge. Technical problems are the things we're really good at solving. That's what um, we if, if we said that do, about, yeah. if we just gave up, we wouldn't have any form of, uh, uh, like, medical health, you know, like, like medical breakthroughs because we'd just be like, ah, oh, we don't know how to fix that. Uh, so, yeah. That's one of those things. And that's one of the ones that's standing out. Now, this one I know absolutely nothing about. Static compensators. What okay, are we so this is, a, for? this is not a very uh, sexy one, you know, when you're going, like, well, what's going on? But a lot of renewable energy, like, fluctuates. The frequency of the, of the power fluctuates. You know when the lights go in your house? Like, we, when we have, like, uh, nuclear plants and so on, we can, we can generate a lot of electricity at, like, a, the, at a, 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 a static frequency that all the household appliances can use. Uh, but with renewable Renewable energy, we can we, we struggle to do that. But with these new innovations with static compensators now, we're starting to get to a stage where we can really uh, manage that amount of frequency so that it's really viable for household technology. And it's one of those problems that people at home don't really realize. You think that if you've got a wind turbine, you can just generate electricity, but it has to be generated at a certain so we can frequency. Measure it so we can sell it. <laughs> well, so that it can be applied. No, it can be applied to your, your, your console attached to your TV if you're watching the at home your TV has to run at a certain frequency if it dips it could break the the, the appliance so we want to make sure that we don't do that with uh, renewable energy so and that's really exciting well done to the designers in Brazil and the US who have um, now of course made massive strides now let's talk about dynamic export cables okay so this is a very <laughs> interesting technology so if we are putting solar wind um, uh, Farm you know, farms yeah. out to sea or very far away, we've got to get that electricity to us. So obviously these solar wind farms that are out to sea, uh, like on these floating giant platforms, need to get that electricity to us. And that's where dynamic export cables come in. It's these high uh, megawatt uh, like cables that transport as much electricity to the mainland as fast as possible and uh, without you know, wasting electricity on the way. Remember, energy as it travels you know it loses it, its potency yeah it loses sure. its potency guys who are doing science at school you know you need to know that stuff so you want to make sure that it stays the same um, and that's a really really interesting technology again it's not it doesn't sound as it doesn't come out as sexy as as it sounds but <laughs> it's really important that we fix these small well, technical I'm starting problems to see a common thread when you start to combine all of these innovations these problem solving kind of pockets we start to create this global possibility global network of energy which right. I love. it's like lego blocks too like sustainable power I love it's it so and, cool. we, and we really do need it now more than ever let's talk about green hydrogen 
Okay, so green hydrogen is something we've been talking about for a very long period of time, but it's becoming more and more reasonable. I think there was, a, I think it was in Mission Impossible. Actually, not sure which movie it was in, where hydrogen was used as the 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 electricity source, the power well, source. We've that been talking about the, the the hydrogen molecule and unlocking that power in a lot of sci-fi. It's it's been a very very popular thread. Yeah, because it, it's hydrogen is in a lot of different compounds, especially in water. There's hydrogen and oxygen, and if you split this, most two, readily available. Yeah. yeah, and if you can have this really powerful green uh, uh, power source, you know, like, like energy source with hydrogen. So if you, if you turn water into hydrogen, you split the O2, then you just release oxygen back into the air. So that's so much better than carbon dioxide. It's the opposite effect. And we have, we're in a stage now where a lot of countries all around the world are kind of rushing to get this technology out because it's becoming way more viable and everyone's trying to compete to see who's on top of it. So I don't know if there's anybody out there I'm in, just thinking in South Africa. terraforming Mars, you need energy on Mars, you need oxygen on Mars. You need yeah. water on Mars need, too, though. I think we got a lot be, of water on this might planet. Be, I'm just saying so. there might be, man. Um, really exciting to see how far the world has come when we talk about renewable uh, energy sources. So much of this was just conjecture and us kind of hoping for solutions. Now we are finding those solutions inspired. Will it save us from load shedding later today? Probably not, but we'll get there soon.